Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the edit room with the Stovers. Before we start episode 18 of New Beginning in Bloomfield, Canada, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to the 320 subscribers that have joined the channel. Thank you to the viewers. And also thank you to the community, the modders, the map makers, the content creators. Without you, really, we wouldn't be here or at least have such a great audience. We are still a very, very small channel, but I hope to continue making content because I love it and I hope you do as well. So let's get right into episode 18 on the farm with the Stovers in Bloomfield, Canada. It is an absolutely beautiful March day. Spring is in the air. And I guess we should just get right to it. Jim bought the farm. Uh, he, he didn't die. I, I phrased that wrong. He, uh, he actually bought our farm. See, it, uh, it turns out Jim is rich as sh Jim and his wife, uh, Evelyn, live really just the back of our farm. You can see in the overhead here, there are two main fields, or three main fields, but up right to our primary fields as well. And when we started this whole adventure and became really good friends with the Scoutons, they mentioned that when we were through with the build, that we should talk with them first before putting anything on the market, because they might like to buy. And they did. We're so happy that this can go to someone that we know and we spent time with. Uh, and they're also going to let us stay here for a little while in the old homestead while we're figuring out where we go next. Let's talk the cows real fast, though. Um, still got 20. Didn't have any babies. I don't know if that is my game or the mod. Uh, also, they didn't produce any milk. Produced plenty of slurry but no milk maybe a mod conflict i don't know but i still i love this stable uh it's really nice it feels correct for the area uh and it's it's not too big uh, i just have to figure out in future games why the animals didn't produce let's hop in the john deere here let's head back up to the house because i'd love to go over the actual finances with you uh, on, on how we did and while we head up there we can take a look at the field the fields have been cultivated we've we've got them ready to go for when Jim wants to uh, to start planting we've got grass growing now Jim's a, he, he's a case guy uh, but it sounds like he's gonna bring his stuff over but more than likely use the John Deere equipment that we bought because it's newer uh, which I'm fine with that. One thing he was very specific about was he didn't want my Ford. So he's still a Chevy guy through and through. That's okay. My Ford will go with me. They are taking Miracle. We just don't know how we would transport her to our next location. This stable as well has just been great. It does sound like the Scoutons are going to probably get a couple more horses which i would be really happy with that give miracle a little bit of company out here in this beautiful back pasture area let's head in the house and you know it's still the morning so i really really need well, wait it's hold on who left the door open these kids tell you what they they are definitely not paying the heating bill Oh, and I left the back door open. Well, if we get this closed, it, it's it's springish, so you know it gets cold at night, but kind of warm in the day. I don't know. Let's just get some coffee. And come back in here to the office to take a look at really how we did with this first build. I think we did really quite well. Basic P&L here for the farm over the past 18 episodes. Uh, and one thing I never did mention was how much did the actual parcel cost. It was $1.75 to start off with. We 
we did about 1 million in renovations. We spent 2.3 on equipment. Operating costs in that 450, 450,000 range. Owner share, we took nothing, absolutely nothing. Sales tax, 375,000, and then property tax is about 25 grand. So right around that 5.9 million range. Um, and uh, Jim and his, his family, uh, again, he's got some wealth, paying a 6.75. Now we got some commissions and fees there, uh, a lot of commissions and fees. Profit of around 192,000, but then the damn cap. We gotta pay. We gotta pay taxes on everything. Taxes on everything. Capital gains on that profit because it was a profit. Uh, so you know, Meg and I and the family we're gonna net about 130,000, 131,000 dollars, which which is absolutely great. Now that sum seems very small, and you probably ask, well, why do you even do this? Well, I'll show you why we do this. This is why we do this. It's beautiful. It's definitely a lot harder than a 9 to 5, but it's so worth it. Take a look at this. I think this is really interesting, too. You can see on the left is the base map uh, of Bloomfield, and on the right is the edit of the map that I did for this uh, series overlay is not absolutely perfect, but you get the idea. This was a grass field. Uh, the house was built on the grass field, but when we get up here to the main shop area, this was all trees. We took out all the trees. There's actually a video that I did on how to delete them instantly using easy dev controls. Check that out if you want to delete trees quick. We then uh, used the elevation tools and made the nice little stream uh, and then took down more trees over here in the renovations where we added the uh, bunker silos. And you can see the old uh, homestead there. That's in the base map. We also cannot forget about Prairie State Tractor. Uh, and this release from Chandler Buck and the uh, collab that he had with other folks. Really, really appreciate that. That is out there. It's Mac or PC only, but it's uh, really a nice addition to any farm. And then to the map maker, uh, Rubber Burner 89 in Bloomfield, Canada. This was an exceptionally good map. It is a base size map available on the in game mod hub for all platforms. And I had zero issues with it. Even with 300 plus mods modifying the terrain, it just ran great. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the road for this first season with the Stovers. We're so happy you came along for the ride, and we hope you stick with us for future builds right here on the channel. Have a good evening.